What is going on, my friends? Welcome to crazy little video here. So I have here a special sinker, and I have some squid, raw frozen squid. And what I'm gonna do is stick a squid on each wire and make like a little squid Christmas tree and stick it on the bottom of the ocean behind me. Let's see what comes along to eat it. So this is the first time ever trying this experiment. And I actually added a few more squid pieces to the mix and then I had some left over so I just kind of threw them down there. I thought that'd be a good attractant just to get things going. And to my surprise, it was a little bit um, dead out there. I thought that once I threw squid on the bottom, the scent of that would, would disperse out in the water and the fish would be all over. And you see that little wrasse there uh, kind of swim over. He's like, nah, no thank you. And then here's a trigger fish comes over. This is Hawaii state fish. And he takes a squid head. Thank you very much. I was like, okay, this is a good start. But then you can see like this little wrasse here. He, he's, he wants a piece, but he's not ambitious enough to bite off one, I guess. And he comes around a bunch. He really wants it, but uh, I, I don't know why he wouldn't take a bite. And then you see a uh, jack come around there, or a papillo, and there's a butterfly fish. That is super cool. There are a lot of different species of butterfly fish out there. And um, he came to take a look, but never took a bite. And that's a unicorn fish right there, that black one that you see. You'll see more in just a second. And the papillo, those three right there you see are uh, the most desirable fish to catch in Hawaii. People love to eat them. They're very aggressive, and they fight real hard. But even they weren't eating the squid. Like, I mean, you see the fish coming by and they're just kind of pecking at it, but they're not really enthusiastic. That unicorn fish, he had a lot of pieces to choose from. And I have no idea why they weren't uh, all gathering around. Basically, why there wasn't a huge feeding frenzy around this pile of squid. I thought it would just take like maybe 10 minutes and they would eat it up. And it was down there probably about 30 or 40 minutes. And they kept smelling it, so they would come around. But, <laughs> like, the unicorn fish there just kind of pecked at the wires of the sinker. And again, <laughs> a couple of them. It's like, guys, the bait's right there. I, I was shocked at this result. I had no idea they would be this unenthusiastic about a squid ball down there. And here's a view from the other uh, GoPro. And listen to the whales here. I think this is just amazing. I'm wondering if this store-bought squid is just not very good, not very good bait. It's maybe gone bad a little bit. Even the goatfish come around. Those are red goatfish, red goatfish with the uh, long whiskers. And even they don't really want to take a bite. And goatfish are really aggressive fish of the reef. Uh, usually you catch them first in a lot of uh, situations when you're reef fishing. And even they come around, they smell it with their little whiskers and they don't want to take a bite. And I just think maybe it's some bad squid from the store. It's kind of a lesson for fishermen. If you're buying squid from the store, it's probably not a great bait. Like, try to get it as fresh as you can. The stuff was frozen beforehand. And here the goatfish makes a play for it. Like, you can catch some fish on it for sure. But I just didn't realize till now how ineffective it was. And it makes me think back to all the times I was fishing with frozen squid and it took five or 10 or 15 minutes to get a bite. Like were tons of fish just swimming right by it. And then finally one kind of got brave enough to, to bite or whatever. Like I'm kind of rethinking the whole thing there. Another thing I'm thinking is that if it's in small pieces, the fish get more excited over it. But a big ball of squid on the bottom is kind of so unnatural. They don't know how to react to it necessarily. That's another theory. I love how this fish goes in the, in the tunnel here. Watch. Just goes in one side, <laughs> pops out in the other, and the unicorn fish wants to do the same thing. A different type of unicorn fish there. That's cool. I love all the different colors of these. And I thought I would stir things up a bit. I thought maybe it's kind of down in the sand too much. 
So I kicked up some of the sand and I thought, you know, I'm going to kind of set it on the rock here. Maybe if it was uh, out there visually, um, it would eat it more. And it actually did produce a better results uh, right off the bat. And you can see a butterfly fish coming around. And then they kind of start to congregate around it. It falls down. And it's funny how that kind of stirred them up. So maybe also having it moving. So when you're like, say, kayak fishing with some squid, having it bounce up and down also helps with, you know, getting the fish interested in the bait. And like just that, that movement there is one of the things that uh, triggers them as well. So maybe it's just kind of the unnatural presentation of the squid as much as anything is the reason why they're not just swirling around. I thought they'd kind of swirl around it, take all the pieces off the wires, and uh, it, I'd be done. But this is a beautiful file fish here. I, I don't know if I've seen one like this before. Look at the black with the yellow fins. That is so cool. I love file fish. So finally, I was like, you know what? I'm going to move this whole operation closer to some reef and uh, freshen up the bait. All right, so I've upgraded the bait to this giant squid here. Um, I think that this will be better. This is an uncleaned, unprocessed squid. Let's see if the fish like this better. So it occurred to me that maybe the reason why the fish didn't just gobble up the squid in the first round is because it was like processed and cleaned squid that was ready for cooking. And I wonder if that removed some of the flavors from it. And that's why the fish weren't really excited over it. So I got this totally unprocessed squid here and put it on the bottom. But still, you can see the fish just aren't really interested. And then check this out. I think this is very telling. This is a mora eel. Smells it and comes over. He's going to tear off a big chunk. But no, look. He's got nothing in his mouth and then just swims off. If a mora eel of all things won't eat it, what's going on? And then this next part was strange. I'm not sure what happened behind the scenes there, but something spooks all the fish. That was really weird. Don't know what happened there. I also have another theory that maybe the squid is just too big and intimidating for these fish. When they see a squid, they think that it's going to like prey on them. So to see a whole squid laying on the bottom like that, maybe they're just kind of intimidated by it. And then right here, something's messing with the camera. And it's an eel. And then he starts messing with everything. In fact, this is crazy. Watch him in the back there. Starts chasing some of the fish around. Like, just totally uninterested in the squid, in the bait that I put on the bottom. But he's gonna, I guess, just harass a bunch of the fish back there. He's just angry. And I think it's funny, the fish's reaction. Watch this. Look, he, he's <laughs> chasing around a goat fish. But the goat fish is just like, ah, eh, whatever, You're not, you don't scare me. Just like catting all around. I'm not, like, look at that. What, what's he doing? Just playing around the squid, but not interested in eating it. I was just shocked. And you can even see the, the goat fish here. They uh, dig through the sand with their little uh, whiskers there. And they're looking for, like, crabs and stuff. They're not even interested in the squid that's right in front of them. And the eel again. Not sure what his problem is. They just seem like angry, angsty animals to me. So overall, it was a cool experiment, but I feel like the idea of starting a big feeding frenzy is just an epic fail, except for right there. See, I expected all the fish to start doing that. This is a hawkfish. Sucks in a couple of <laughs> tentacles, and uh, if it wasn't for the weights, he was going to take off with the whole thing, I think. Looks like he tore one off. A couple of butterfly fish swim by. There are over 100 species of butterfly fish. Those are so pretty. And a couple more butterfly fish in the back. Apparently people have these for their aquariums. They're cool. But you just see the total disinterest in the squid. So I threw the squid out there. And uh, I'm not really sure what happened to it. But it was a fun experiment. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, definitely going to do this again with something else.